So over here, you can see that I have a project and uh, the way you work around with the editing inside of uh, Shortcut is by using the timeline at the bottom right here. So here under the timeline, you can see that this area is totally empty right now. So if you want to start working from your playlist, um, whatever files you have, you have to click and drag it out onto the timeline and then it'll be there in the timeline as you can see right here. Same goes with the audio layer as well. You click and drag out the audios right here and then they come to the timeline just like this as well. So right now you can see that it is in the same timeline, but you can also go around and then work around with multiple timelines right here, which you're going to understand in further videos. So I'm just going to go around and select out this audio clip and hit the delete key. And now let's understand uh, this very clip right here. So the timeline here uh, represents the time. So from left to right, it represents a certain time. So here you can see that you can go around and zoom in uh, the timeline as well. Once I zoom in, then what happens is that uh, you can see that right now, this is the timeline right here. So if I were to go around um, and then uh, click and drag this around, you will be able to see the preview over there as well. So you can see the timeline over here as well. So as I click and drag around the timeline cursor on the top, it also affects out the timeline cursor on the bottom, as you can see right here. You can also go around and set around the exact distance. Let's say, for example, if I want to do four seconds right here, four seconds and zero, zero frames, that is, press enter and the timeline cursor goes on to that same exact area. So this range right now represents four seconds, while if I were to zoom uh, out right here, then this range represents four seconds. Similarly, I can go around, zoom in and zoom in, and now this range represents four seconds. And as I zoom in, you can also see more details regarding the timeline right here. And as I hover around the timeline, you can see exactly uh, the, uh, the, the length right here as well. You can go around and move this out and you can see the length of the timeline over here as well. And that is how the timeline actually works. And you can click and drag around clips around the timeline according to how you want. And you can arrange out the footage right here. So now uh, you can see that there is nothing over here in the beginning. So if I were to go around and arrange the timeline out over here, then this is what I have. And that is how timeline works out inside of Shortcut. And uh, that is what you will be using to edit out clips. Uh, that is multiple clips and keep them together and add in, let's say, for example, some transitions right here. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.